Good morning. I literally just fell out of bed. It is 7.14. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, anyway, it's 7.14. I overslept. I wanted to get up at 6.30, but that didn't happen. But I'm just going to get ready for work. Okay, so the lighting is going to go in and out. And this angle is also probably not the best. But I'm in my car. And I have had quite the morning. So before I get into that, I woke up, whatever, I vlogged real quick, that quick little clip you just saw, then I put the camera down because I remembered, oh wait, I still don't know where my wallet is. So I got ready for work quick, which I also didn't film because I might do a morning routine in the near future, so we'll see about that. But I couldn't find my wallet, and I realized last night at like midnight, so like what was I going to do at midnight? I woke up, I checked my car, I checked the house you know like i was getting frustrated so i've been calling target since like 7 30 in the morning even though i know they don't open till 8 because that's the last place i remember having it on me so i called them hoping for an answer but not expecting one since they weren't even open and then it finally opened and it picked up and i was just getting so frustrated because they said they were going to transfer me to guest services like three times and every single time i'd be like hi is this guest services and they'd be like oh no like i'll transfer you there like i thought that was happening already Ooh, this lighting all right hold on so I was trying not to get frustrated with them because it is very hard to work in customer service. It is hard to deal with people. So I just try to give everybody like strangers and stuff, especially like grace and patience, you know, just to try to be understanding with them. It's not their fault that I lost my wallet. It's my own fault. So there was no reason to really get mad at them. But I was just getting frustrated and then finally guest services picked up and lo and behold they have my wallet so i'm very happy because now i don't have to go through the process of getting all new things but i just got here so i'm gonna go in quick i might get some coffee at starbucks because i didn't have time to make coffee because i wanted to make sure i had enough time to come here oh the lighting disappeared that's great anyway i'll be back i'll check in at some point Probably after I get coffee though. We got the wallet. Wow, my angles are just crazy, but we got pumpkin bread and we also got a pumpkin spice latte because the best drink at Starbucks or Dunkin', you know, pumpkin is my favorite. If they had pumpkin all year round, I think I'd get it pretty much every single time I went to Starbucks or Dunkin' for that matter. But we made good time. It's about 8.30, which is the time I usually leave for work anyway, because I live pretty close to where I work. I hope I made sense earlier. I was frantic, but it's going to be a good day. I prayed and prayed and prayed so hard this morning when I was like, no, like my wallet is literally not even in the car, like nowhere. And I just feel so grateful that I not only got my wallet, but somebody returned it and everything was still in it. Like... Nobody stole anything, which is just, like, there are really good people out there. And I think that we shouldn't forget that. So, yeah. If you're not having a good day, just switch your mindset and try to think about everything in a positive light. And try to think about the lessons that are learned from things. I know that the lighting in here isn't the best. I'm in my bathroom. It's been a day. It is currently 11.24. I feel like I can never get my phone to focus. How do people get their phones to focus? I don't I don't understand. Anyway, it is 11.24 at night. The last check-in I want to say was around 8.30 in the morning, so it has been well over 12 hours. But basically, went to Target, found my wallet, was extremely happy and grateful that everything was there, and then I went to work, which right now i'm currently a substitute teacher i have my bachelor's degree in communications and my master's degree in media communications and visual arts with a concentration in social media and public relations but right now i'm home obviously i've graduated and i'm really loving teaching so i'm subbing and it's been so much fun. I think it can just be hard sometimes because when you are with new students all the time, they don't know you, you don't know them. And I think it can be frustrating, not just 
for like me, but for them too, you know? Everybody has different teaching styles and everyone has different learning styles. So I just think that having a sub in your classroom can be challenging, but you know, challenges are part of life. So you take them and you conquer them or you don't conquer them. And in a way you're still conquering it because you're learning a lesson from it. Anyway, that brings me to a dilemma I've been having. I love my field communications. I love my degree and I love what I do. But through subbing, I have found a new love. I love teaching the little ones because when something clicks in their head and like the light bulb goes off and you know that you contributed to them learning something and they're like, oh my god, I got it. It is just such a good feeling and I really don't know how to describe it like any other way. So I'm like, do I go back to school and get my master's in education and then try to get certified in New York? I don't know. It's something that I'm really trying to figure out because I don't want to look back and have any regrets. Anyway, back to what I was saying about my day. I worked, which was fun, and then I got back from work and just kind of sorted through everything. The teacher that I'm subbing for left me so much to do in a good way. She gave me all the homework for the days, lesson plans and stuff. So I'm super grateful that she did that for me because it is just so helpful. But basically I was just going through everything. I kind of took a little bit to evaluate how the day went and what I could do better for tomorrow. And I'm sorry if this is like a boring topic to you, but it is what it is. I showered, I'm getting ready for bed and all that jazz. And I'm just excited because it's October. I love October. It's one of my favorite months, I have to say, because it's not too cold, but it's not too hot either. I'm also excited because I am doing, people call it Vlogtober, people call it Utober whatever you want to call it. I feel like I want to call it Utober rather than Vlogtober. Regardless, I am doing it and it's not going to be a daily thing most likely since I do work and I don't want to stress myself out too much to be honest, but I'm going to try to get as many videos up as I can. So I'm going to vlog every single day and just like combine the days so maybe i'll have three to four days worth of vlog footage in a vlog so you'll see every day in october just not in separate like daily videos if that makes sense i also have tons of other fall content planned that i can do if i have the time so hopefully i can do that so i'm feeling good i'm looking forward to the month and i'm looking forward to tomorrow tomorrow's friday i'm super excited for what this month has to bring and yeah that i think is going to be it for tonight again sorry about the lighting on this clip the one side of my face is like just shadowed i will see you tomorrow it's the next day october 2nd friday and I think someone's mowing their lawn or like leaf blowing. Sir, can you just like take a break? I'm totally kidding, but it's been a day. I went to work. If you hear any noise in the background, which I say in all my videos, I live with my parents and my sister, so there will always be noise. But it is 4.30. I didn't vlog or anything this morning. Most of my work mornings are the same. So I just got back from work and now we're gonna do the dishes. Okay, I realized that this is way too many dishes to do in a little montage, so we got a little before. Those weren't in the sink, but they were on the stove, so I just put them there, and I don't feel like washing them right now. So this is our after. So after the dishes, I was hungry and decided to make some nachos from 
some leftover taco meat. So look at this bad boy. Then we also have some salsa to put on top along with some sour cream. Time for the taste test. We got the sour cream on it. So good. You gotta try it, Dad. This is so good. You just have to dig in there. Mmm. I feel like I look so bad right now. But anyway, I'm gonna try to make this clip super fast because my head is just pounding. I think that I just didn't have like caffeine all day and I usually have some sort of caffeine every day. So my body is just like, ah, like what are you doing to me? Today was hectic and I honestly just completely forgot that I wanted to vlog a little bit every day. So I woke up and got my eyebrows done and then realized that my piercing was like gone. So I have my ears pierced, but recently the new ones that I got, I got my cartilage done because I had an industrial bar there, but I took it out and got my cartilage pierced here. And then I got my midway. I don't know if you can see it on this side. It's really, really swollen right now. But basically the like diamondy like piece of jewelry, it was gone. I woke up, like I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, it fell out in the middle of the night, I guess. But the backing link was still in my ear. So I was like, okay, so like the front twisty piece I guess just fell off I have to go get a new one I have to go to the place so I was sitting in the car after getting my eyebrows done and then I realized I was like let me just like play with it a little bit so I started pushing on the earring from the backing and I could feel like the skin like ripping I'm sorry if this is like gross but I could feel the skin ripping and out comes the front piece of like jewelry from the piercing it felt so weird and I was like oh my gosh, like the earring was lodged under my skin and my ear was just so swollen. You can tell that it's like still swollen. I'm not sure if like the camera is really picking it up, but I went to the tattoo piercing place and the piercer there just put like, I guess like a longer post it's called, I don't know, a longer piece of jewelry there. So hopefully the swelling will go down, but then I had to come straight home hop in a shower right away and then I had to get dressed and ready. My sister had a dance competition today which regarding the pandemic it was safe. We were at an outdoor venue with a limited number of people. Everyone was social distancing, wearing their masks the entire time so all is well like in that department but it was freezing outside. We were there for a few hours and then we went to Applebee's right after and it's like 11.30 I think right now. Oh, it's it's midnight now. It's late and I'm tired. There's just so much to do. I went to Target a few days ago and got all my stuff for my fall haul, which I still have to film and everything. I wanna finish filming another video that I already started. I'm really tired. I'm gonna try to fall asleep early tonight and hopefully get some stuff done tomorrow i don't know if i mentioned this but it's not friday anymore it was saturday well technically now it's sunday but the day that just went by was saturday now i'm gonna go to bed and sleep because i need it i look crazy ah okay i'll see you tomorrow real quick i just wanted to hop on here and end the video today is thursday october 8th i have been vlogging all of the past few days but this is where i'm going to stop and the next vlog will pick up with october 4th so if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up click the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications that way you never miss a video i also have a starbucks giveaway that i do it's a starbucks e-gift card giveaway so all you have to do to enter is follow the directions in the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye